killer. Dragon Ball Super episode 121. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest. I went into the episode thinking it wasn't gonna be great, and it was actually a lot better than I expected. I went into it not really enjoying last week's episode. It wasn't bad, it's just that in my mindset I was like, well, it doesn't really make sense how they're kind of doing it with Universe 3. I was like, why didn't they just like eliminate them like last week and then continue on with Universe 7 versus 11? I'm actually now kind of glad that they did that because, uh, well, this episode was A, really good, and B, they probably didn't want to start the whole Goku versus Jiren fight this week, and they're going to do it in the new year, because uh, for those of you who don't know, ne uh, next week we're not going to get a Dragon Ball Super episode. We are not going to get another Dragon Ball Super episode until the end of the year, until the new year in 2018. And uh, yeah, just for a heads up for all all of you who didn't know, we're not going to get a Dragon Ball Super episode next week. We're going to have to wait until an extra week in January, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, this episode was very interesting. Of course, it continues on where we left, excuse me, we, it continues on where we left off last week. And uh, basically, Dr. Paparoni uh, merged with the robots that had already fused or merged together as is anyways and Dr. Pepperoni merged himself with the three with the three robots so now they're like this big kind of like robot and animal kind of thing it's like super big it's like it reminds me of Hachiak I remember like the whole time when I was watching the episode I was like this guy kind of reminds me of Hachiak in a lot of ways it's actually it was actually pretty enjoyable watching him fight Universe 7 it was pretty surprising um I don't remember the name. Uh, I'll probably look it up in a second so I can, I can give you guys the name of the person that, are, that is in the episode, the person that we are fighting in this episode. Um, yeah, it, it was just really fun watching Universe 7 fight this guy. It was actually pretty enjoyable because there are moments when it's like he grew wings and he can fly even though like everybody else can't. Uh, the finale of the episode was really cool, and he actually does like the whole like Janemba thing where he like Punches through like a dimension and then it creates a portal punching uh, Like a person from a different area It was really cool. It was really cool. It was really interesting to kind of watch it happen. Everybody was like like okay, so it's bigger, but it, that doesn't mean it's like faster or anything, right? It's Ani Laza. That's the name. That's the name in the anime. It's Ani Laza. I think that's how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Ani Laza. That's the name of who we're fighting right now. The really big ass motherfucker, right? <laughs> I apologize for uh, the language there, but it's a big guy. I got really just it. It's it's basically the size of a giant great ape. It's it's pretty pretty ridiculous so the whole time they're fighting universe 7 you know goku and everybody they're like okay well not only is he drastically stronger he's also really really fast so we got to go with a little bit of teamwork which we haven't seen a lot from universe 7 you would think because this is the tournament of the power uh they would kind of integrate some teamwork but they didn't so they do that uh, Ani Laza actually shoots off a key blast, a couple of key blasts, and one of them goes over to the Pride Troopers, and Jiren, you know, is Jiren, he kind of just disintegrates it like it's nothing. It's, it's actually kind of funny. So they all realize that they gotta, they gotta team up, right? So Vegeta goes Super Saiyan, Gohan is, you know, doing whatever Gohan is doing, and then Android 17 and 18 are doing whatever they gotta do, right? Frieza's in this episode, which is which I enjoyed. I, I always enjoy seeing Frieza on screen. Frieza goes Super Saiyan 2, I believe. It doesn't I can't really tell between Super Saiyan Vegeta or Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, but he goes Super Saiyan. He he shoots off a big bang attack, which I have I feel like we haven't seen in forever. So it was it was neat seeing that again. Goku goes Super Saiyan God with the red hair, and they all try to go in multiple different directions, uh, from Anilaza. And Anilaza's like ears, I guess, can like sense energy through like the sounds of like their feet or something. I, I forget what 
they say in the episode but no matter what it's like you can never really catch this guy off guard because he can always he can always pretty much sense like where you're at and what you're doing right so there's almost like no cat there's almost no way catching the, the, the catch this guy off guard uh and then like i said before earlier in the uh, in the video uh ani laza does this thing where he punches a certain just just anywhere and then he creates a portal and then he just flattens goku goku just gets stomped onto the ground and then uh, he is then punched towards uh, the edge of the arena and it's almost as if he was gonna get eliminated and then it's actually no Frieza kicks him back into uh, the tournament of power uh, stage right and I was like well he probably didn't have to kick him but because this is Frieza it kind of makes sense and it's kind of hilarious so I'll let it go right it was kind of it's actually kind of funny I'm, I'm not gonna lie uh, so Frieza finally steps in uh, after not really doing a whole lot, and like I said in uh, a couple of videos beforehand, uh, Frieza is my favorite villain. So seeing him in action is always pretty entertaining. Uh, it gets to a point where Anilaza is, you know, almost knocking people off. He actually almost knocks off uh, Android 17, and in 18, actually beforehand, before that happens, 18 actually gets grabbed. Right, because Anilaza was trying to like grab everybody. I have no idea why. Uh, he grabs 18, and then he's like about to eat her. I guess like she's like she's falling into Anilaza's mouth. Pause, but for real, right? That's what's happening. And then uh, Goku uses the instantaneous movement. That's what it looks like. He uses the instantaneous movement to save 18, uh, and then Anilaza shoots off a whole bunch of key blasts. Uh, obviously, 17 is going to use his barrier, you know, to not get injured or whatever, right? But that's still pushing him back towards the edge. So 17 is falling off, right? And right there in that moment, 18's like, yeah, uh, 17, you know, you you kind of you kind of stronger than me. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna make sure that you're 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 the one who stays on the stage, and uh, it's okay if I get knocked off because I, I kind of already did my part. So yeah, 18 jumps off the stage and propels 17 back up to the stage with. Her legs and yeah she gets eliminated 18 android 18 gets eliminated for the turn of power so universe 7 is now left to five fighters but this is five of universe 7's strongest fighters so it's goku vegeta gohan android 17 and frieza these are universe 7's strongest fighters let's be honest here right <laughs> we haven't seen the full capability of what 17 can do nor nor Frieza, if anything, but these are Universe 7's strongest fighters, so I can only I can only expect to see what happens next. So they all power up because they realize that it's time to knock this guy off. Not only that, but he kind of like conjures up like a, a like a big red spear uh, of destruction, I guess you can say. Uh, shout out to the universe, but it's not really a sphere of destruction. It's just like a giant sphere. It's like it's like a ball of energy, right? So he shoots that towards uh, the stage, right? And then they all power up. Vegeta and Goku go Super Saiyan Blue. Gohan goes Ultimate. Frieza goes Golden. And then 17, he doesn't really have a transformation. He just powers up, right? Um, I don't know why. I, I didn't really laugh at the. I didn't really laugh at that initially, but then I realized it after I watched the episode last night, and I was like, oh. That he, he just kind of powers up and gets like a white aura not like not like when Gohan goes like ultimate Just he just gets like a like a plain white aura. I don't know why I think I think that's funny for some reason So they all power up they all shoot a key blast and then 17 notices that uh, the big like Red like gem like on Anilas is like forehead or whatever, right? Uh, that's like the source of like his his energy, I guess so 17 decides to obviously create a barrier around him and then he actually goes towards uh, The sphere that's that's being shot towards the sage and he actually goes through the sphere and actually then punches the red orb that is on Anilaza's forehead and Anilaza just explodes very very Power Rangers like right uh, I was watching Geekton's video before I actually uh, started recording, and he, he made a lot of references to Power Rangers, and I, I kind of now see it, you know, growing up with Power Rangers as a kid, and all that stuff. So, this is actually a really enjoyable episode. Uh, the, obviously, the episode ends off with Anilaza getting eliminated. Uh, they all unmerge, they all go back to what they were before, and then Universe 3 gets erased. But something that actually 
caught me off guard was apparently the god of destruction for universe 3 isn't like a robot or anything it's actually like a small like humanoid person inside a suit it was really weird i i didn't expect that it really caught me off guard i wasn't I expected something like that to happen but i guess in a way it makes sense but i'm gonna be honest i think that's kind of lame you know i think it would have been i think it would have been neat to kind of have a god of destruction be like like this robot kind of character you know kind of have a little bit more diversity instead of just like a species like like how beerus is and stuff like that but it's neither here or there. So anyways, the episode ends off and Goku and Jiren obviously give off some words to each other. Yeah, Jiren actually speaks in this episode by, by a lot of way. Uh, Jiren is a character that never really talks and because this is the final two universes, they kind of exchange, they actually exchange a few words to each other. So it's 5v3, 5 to universe 7, 3 to universe 11 with Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Frieza, and Android 17 with Jiren, Topo, and Dispo. So, yeah, that's the end of the episode. The next previews, we get uh, Goku and Vegeta actually fighting Jiren. Goku is obviously not an Ultra Instinct because he hasn't gotten to that point yet to where he, to where he transforms into Ultra Instinct, but we'll probably see it soon, let's be honest. Apparently in the previews, he actually gets a, a couple of punches off on Jiren. Don't know how, but he is in Super Saiyan Blue from what I've seen from a couple screenshots. I actually haven't watched the previews yet because I uh, just haven't done it yet. Because I, I literally watched the episode last night. I was going to record and then I was like, well, <sighs> I was literally I was literally about on the verge of recording. right? And then my uncle and his girlfriend, like he came here drunk. She wasn't drunk, but he came here drunk. Kind of pissed me off. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed. Right. So, <clears throat> so I watched the episode. They came here. I afterwards when they left, I I immediately went to bed because I was already kind of tired anyways. So this video was actually supposed to even come out yesterday on Saturday, but I got sidetracked. I was I was tired. I didn't really feel like recording, and plus I actually forgot that Super came out yesterday. So anyways, the episode was actually really really good. Animation and uh, the soundtrack, the music that they used for this episode was actually really good. Uh, yeah, it was. A, this is actually one of the better episodes that I've watched in the last couple weeks, you know. I wasn't ever really tired of the Terminator Power, but these last few weeks, like after, like, Kefla got eliminated and stuff like that, I was just, like, I was just, like, losing interest almost. I was going to watch the episodes regardless, but I was losing a little bit of interest. So, either way, that's the end of the video, which means that's the end of the episode for episode 121. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below because I am very curious to what you guys think of the episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? What did you enjoy about the episode? What didn't you What didn't you enjoy about the episode? I enjoyed pretty much everything. Uh, everything was actually just a lot of fun to watch. There wasn't really a moment where I was like, ah, I wish they didn't did this besides like the whole like Universe 3 God Destruction, but whatever, right? So yeah, Universe 3 is eliminated. Two more universes are left in the Terminator Power. And we're not going to have a Dragon Ball Super episode next week. So be on the lookout in January. In the first week of January for the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. Which is episode 122. And I am speaking really fast right now. Call me a rap god if you want. But anyways. That's going to end of the video. If you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like. If you're very new to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. And push that notification button. So you never miss a new video. And yeah. Anyways. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. And I'm out.